According to a new analysis by commercial space monitoring company Exo Analytical Solutions, China's SJ-21 satellite appears to be functioning as a space tug, while the satellite towed a failed Baidu navigation satellite from a crowded geosynchronous orbit and sent it to a graveyard orbit. According to an official on 22nd January, China's SJ-21 satellite disappeared from its orbital position after performing a close-range operation around and approaching a failed Baidu-2 navigation satellite for several hours. It was later found that SJ-21 performed a big maneuver to drag the failed satellite out of geosynchronous orbit. Now, the so-called graveyard orbit or junk orbit is usually defined as the space 300 kilometers above the geosynchronous orbit at an altitude of about 36,000 kilometers. China had launched the satellite SJ-21 into geosynchronous transfer orbit on 24th October 2021 and the Chinese state media said that the satellite would test and verify debris mitigation technology. The SJ-21 reached the geosynchronous orbit and then moved into proximity with another object which was estimated to be an apogee kick motor or a sub-satellite by the 18th Space Control Squadron of the United States Space Force and other space watchers. As per space observers, China conducted its first non-Chinese space station rendezvous and proximity operation in 2010 from sun-synchronous orbit with SJ-12 and SJ-06F. They reached the proximity of fewer than 300 meters and later a change in the SJ-06F's orbital trajectory was observed. It was similar to a 2005 United States on-orbit test which did not generate debris. Now the Chinese may have conducted its track, grasp and release robotic arm test in 2013. Xi'an 7, Shuangxin 3 and SJ-15 were launched in similar orbits. Chinese media said that the mission was to test space maintenance technologies such as space debris, tracking and robotic arm operations. Apart from this, the SY-7 was launched with the robotic arm and two other satellites were speculated to operate as an observer and transmit test data to ground operators. In 2017, a Chinese professor at the Beihang University said, that the SY-7 and the Tiangong space stations as examples of China's on-orbit servicing tests. The professor also referred to the United States maintenance of the Hubble Space Telescope and AFRLs XSS-10 and 11. With that, the SJ-17 was launched in November 2016 and over several years it may have inspected and conducted other service tests on Chinese satellites. This may have been similar to the Russian inspector satellites. Some Chinese researchers and media outlets have written that SJ-17s conducted activities related to debris mitigation. However, SJ-17 shifted Chinasat 5A to graveyard orbit in 2018. It is also said to have conducted RPO activities on Chinasat 1C in 2018, a dedicated military satellite Chinasat 20 back in the same year and Chinasat 6B in 2020.